disgusting. There's children in this world that need a, like a mother, and maybe I That's don't true. find. That's but true. also, like yeah. I can, I never know in life I can maybe convert to be an uh, like d- like a nun or maybe someone who doesn't even want to get married. A nun? A nun? <laughs> she wants to be a nun now. Okay, first of all, please everyone pray that she never adopts any child. <laughs> Hello, America, FBI and CIA agents and fellow cult members. Welcome to Culture Club USA. I'm Daraba. On today's episode of OnlyFans on Trial, we've got something new. We're going to be reacting to an episode of Fresh and Fit. Let's get into this one. Now, these look like some interesting characters here. I wonder where they find these girls. It is Miami, so... We're going to see how this one works out. Let's go. Oh, I mean, my thing is like, you can't even describe what you like. Like, you can't even say it. Please don't be ambiguous. What do you want in a guy <laughs> then? Okay, if you're just asking what I want. um, Come on, man. I want someone who's like obviously four, four, four. educated. Someone I can have. Co- have co- oh, sorry. Thank you. Um, Someone I can have conversation with. Uh-huh. Oh, is it not? No. You can like. Go ahead. You're good. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, you know, I want someone that I can have conversation with that maybe has the same moral values as me, um, has the same faith as me. Um, maybe it would be even cool if we had the same type of. Cre- now, what am I looking at here? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Now, I did not expect to see this on Fresh and Fit. Okay. <laughs> I'm expecting to see like women that are, you know, trying to date like Andrew Tate. You know what I mean? This is going to be interesting. I, You know, I have to say, these guys have really good energy. So um, yeah, maybe see. it would be even cool if we had the same type of career so we can have conversation about that. Okay. Um, you know, but I, I would say, you know, there's different aspects. I don't know. Like, I hope that maybe go to the beach together, walk on the sand, hold hands, jump in the water. Are you being sarcastic? No, no, I'm serious. OK, like, you know. sure. Like if he's adventurous, no problem. But I also travel the world quite <laughs> Adventurous. Well, he might have to be adventurous to walk down the beach holding hands. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Often, so I, I would like someone who's able to have that flexible lifestyle as well. You travel the world? Mm hmm. I've been to 67 countries. Wow. She's been to 67 countries? I wonder doing what? Okay, now I gotta. What is she doing in 67 countries? How are you traveling to 67 countries? What are you doing? Wow. Wow. That's alone. Ha- like almost alone. alone, yeah. By sea or, or by That's air? Awesome. Air. Yeah. Yo, for sure, bro. Wait, she traveled to 67 countries alone for work? Or I'm, I'm confused. For sure, bro. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's really exciting. So, like, I, I, yeah, I think that also helps you have a, when, when you're able to see different cultures and be immersed in different ways, it helps you have a lot more open mind towards different things and areas of life. I really believe that. Remember, the the whole conversation started with men shouldn't open up to women, right? Mm -hmm. And my argument for why men should open up to women is because men are looked at as the leader. They're supposed to be the dominant, more aggressive provider slash provide security. Mm -hmm. Me opening up to you quite literally demonstrates a lack of security because I don't... Hmm, Do you think that? Do you think men opening up to women demonstrates a lack of security. Interesting. Well, I guess it depends on your relationship with the woman too, right? Is it your wife? I would say no. If, if it's your wife, that doesn't demonstrate a lack of security. It's your wife. Now, if it's just a OnlyFans model, then that's something else. Of security. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So I'm crying to you like, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm- pre- Oh, okay. He's talking about whining. Okay, that's a different story. That's a different story. Yeah, we don't want to hear any men whining. Yeah. Uh, so I'm pretty much showing chinks in my armor. And I think as a man, you should never show chinks in your armor. There's a reason why women say, I want my knight in shining armor. Like, mm-hmm. there's reasons to that. Women want to be mm-hmm. saved by a man who's strong, masculine, and dominant. By me being vulnerable with you, I effectively destroy that image. Okay, but th- like- I agree with that. I agree with that. Well said, Myron. Your option C, right? The one that you just don't, you kind of just like have the man do whatever he wants. I think that like, what about the aspect? Okay, like if he goes and handles it by himself, I kind of feel like how come like it's kind of like hidden. Like I I want to know what my husband, Yeah, like you don't feel like like we can chat. Like, okay, maybe you're going through that stress. Great. You know, I I hope it like, I hope it comes good from it. But I don't know. I would kind of feel like. 
I want my husband or, you know, my husband to like be fully honest with me and I'm able to control my, you know, like I can understand where if he was crying all the time, then I'm just like, uh, you know, like what the heck, you know, That's like, my point. But, but why would I even get into a relationship with a cry? Baby? That's my point. But I wouldn't like get into like, but, I, like, how do you know? He gave you a scenario. Remember, uh -huh. you said third option. Yeah, but the third option, like, I feel like I'm being lied to. If you're kind of going and getting a job, not communicating that, like, what if we're, no, but, you know, like, your finances are together. You want to know remember, those kind of things. Remember, he told you, listen, babe, this mm -hmm. happened. I fixed it. We're good to go. Oh, okay, but just, good. No but just problem. so you know, I solved it without having you give, any, give you a headache. Thank you. But that's, that's, that's what he said. But yeah, but it, it's like, you know, but I wouldn't mind if the person got vulnerable because that's just life. You Like, okay. sometimes, you know, just, but I understand cool, that too. You don't mind, but a lot of women will. So uh -huh. it's better to just handle it based off of the probability of what's going to happen, right? Like, just because it's possible that you're going to accept, you know, Right. Me being uh, emotional mm -hmm. doesn't mean that the next girl won't. Majority of the women here at the table okay. said they would prefer to just get it solved and don't involve me. Mm -hmm. So if I know that most women are like that, why the hell am I going to open myself up to liability? Yeah, he has a point. He has a point. You know, women, it's a lot of, you know, it, it, it's funny because things will happen and then you'll find out about it later. And like, you know, your your husband or even your father it just took care of it. And imagine the stress it, it would have brought on you by him telling you about it and the whole nine yards. That's true because men are supposed to handle situations, not whine about them. All it does is upset you. I mean, I don't like that. He's valid point. Uh, I guess it's just like, I don't know, I, like when you're dating, you're able to kind of like have that emotion. I just, I'm looking at this woman and I'm like, like, is she some relationship expert or something? I don't understand what I'm looking at here or hearing. Like, I, I'm waiting to see where this is going. But I, I'm just like, I wouldn't understand her talking about men, period. <laughs> she just traveled to 67 countries alone. <laughs> like... Of that emotional intelligence and maybe kind of define navigate. emotional intelligence, please, because women like to use this stupid ass term all no, the but time. It, but like what you're able, but it's the truth. You're able <laughs> emotional intelligence. He's funny because women like to use this stupid ass term all no, the time. But, it, but like what you're does it able, mean? but it's the truth. You're able to understand. What like, is emotional intelligence? Like I would say, emotional intelligence. You're able to understand, like, uh, like just behaviors, the way that maybe they're moving, the way that like they're expressing themselves. But you're able to like understand maybe like. I don't know. Like you're looking at someone, you're able to maybe. Okay. I don't know. So all right. Okay, this is psycho babble. Okay, I don't know if she's OnlyFans model or whatever. So I, I I can't really call her a sap. You know, my little term for socially accepted prostitute psycho babble, but that is psycho babble. Okay, that's like that crap they feed you in college, and you leave with this hive minded mentality with all these words that you don't even really understand. It's like, what is she talking about? <laughs> I don't know. So the by your own uh -huh. definition, wouldn't the highest level of emotional intelligence be understanding that women are emotional and erratic? And a lot of the times my job is to provide security for them. So for me to show this vulnerability that might affect that image that I'm supposed to provide and might fuck up the relationship. Mm. Wouldn't that be a higher level of emotional intelligence? Because I could see the chess move coming before it comes that it probably isn't in my best interest from a probability standpoint to open up to her. You might accept it, okay, but seven but of the yeah, girls here probability don't. Probability standpoint. OK, like, we, OK, no problem. But I'm still so then that's emotional that, intelligence. Though, the very term you just used I, okay <laughs> i see what you're saying that you're, but you're able to take but not everyone's Bruh. emotionally intelligent Bruh. this is interesting because look at these girls here what is this about like that one right there with the gray t-shirt on is she like a Purdue? like what is this do you think everybody's emotionally intelligent? That's not true. I would say I, as a man. Not, but that's not, there's not, I've met a lot of not emotionally intelligent men. And I'm just like, what yeah, the heck? Yeah, we know. You know? Yeah. Her, yo, her IG is crazy. Sitting bro. there crying, right? <laughs> and He said her IG is crazy. Okay. And, right, and opening up to your girl, I would argue, is emotionally unintelligent because women don't respond favorably to emotional men a lot of the time. Thank you. Just because you can tolerate it doesn't mean that a majority of women right. won't. Okay. Right. So then shouldn't we move off of the probability versus the possibility? I think you should move off of however you feel. That's the problem. That's that's oh, that is the problem. That is the problem. Socio-emotional everything. This is the problem with women in general. Okay. You make emotional decisions. This is why I say women 
Things like the military, stay away. Okay, stay away. I do not want to depend on a woman when it comes to saving my life. Too emotional, too emotional. I don't even really like women flying planes, okay? There's like one person on earth that I would let fly a plane with me in it that's a woman and that's my Pilates teacher. End of story. (laughs) Okay, but walking into, you know, uh, an airport like American Airlines or Delta, I don't even know. If I saw a woman pilot, I might actually leave, okay? I do not understand that. Like, why do women constantly want to do men's jobs? Like, you really have the physical capability to handle a plane when it's about to crash. Do you know what kind of strength that takes? I have multiple people in my family that fly planes, okay? It is not for a woman. Most. Sorry, Marie. Uh, but why is it the hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. And that right there is the okay. quintessential difference between men and women. You okay. guys get the privilege of being able to move up. How I feel, we can't do that. I don't feel like fucking working. I don't mm. feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like going out and making money, but I have to fucking do it because it's my masculine duty. Women, on the other hand, get the privilege of, I don't want to work. Cool. Find a man that will take care of you. I don't want to go to the gym. <laughs> it's okay. Love your curves, girl. We, women. Have- <laughs> that is brilliant. Do you hear what he's saying? That is brilliant. The privilege of doing whatever the fuck they feel like and not necessarily dealing with consequences. Men, on the other hand, we must strive to get excellent. And if we don't, we're going to deal with consequences for being losers. Mm -hmm. There's consequences for being mediocre as a woman, but there's no consequence for me being mediocre as a female. He is so spot on right here. And you know what? I think that things are treading in a different direction. This is the scary thing. So all the feminists out here that are like, everything is, you know, convenient feminism like when it applies to what you want it to apply to. You know what I mean? Like if you're in the army, you really don't want to go to battle. You just want to say that you can be enlisted like the men, but you don't really want to do the men's job or like police officers. You know, it's so funny. I live in Manhattan. I see so many women cops. First of all, they're overweight. I don't know what they think they're going to do. (laughs) I mean, Think about this. You've got an overweight female cop that can barely run, barely move, barely react, that's emotional. Your hormones are clearly all over the place because you're not even in proper shape. Your balance is off, right? And you're a female. How do you put a gun like that on a female and expect anything good to come from that? I don't get it. Then here's the other thing with that. So you're you're partnered nine times out of 10 with a man, right? So basically, you want to get paid like a man, you want to do a man's job, but the men have to really do all the work. Because when a situation happens there, who's who's carrying the load? Is it going to be her or him? I'm going to go with him. Men and women do different things. We're not equal. We're, We're different. It's not about who's better. It's about we do different things. So we can't move off how we feel like you guys can. We can't. We simply can't. There is a burden of performance on men, but there is no burden of performance on women. If a woman wants to go to school and be successful, cool. Mm -hmm. We're going to applaud her for it. But if she wants to be a stay-at-home mom, we'll applaud her for that too. Uh But that's the difference. We can't go off how we feel. You don't get that privilege. And this is what I'm trying to say when I say women have zero idea about the masculine experience. We can't go off how we feel. We have to go off of what's real and what we must do. We must go out there and accomplish. Otherwise, no one respects us and gives a fucks about us. Wow. He's, I mean, this is really, he's saying some deep, deep stuff here. Think about it. Men get the short end of the stick. They've got to do all the work. They've got to carry all the heavy loads, right? And then, and then we've got to put up with women and their emotional BS. Like, think about that. Women get away with everything. Look at E. Jean Carroll. I mean, can you imagine if a man could just come out and say, oh, she assaulted me in a, in a, in a, in a, in a dressing room? Like how that would work out? Just think about where we are. We're going to end up in times where, you know, we're wearing dashikis and you can't even see our faces. This is what this handmaid's tale. All these feminists keep talking about handmaid's tale when it comes out. Yeah, you're putting it in. If we do end up in like a handmaid's tale situation in this country, thank you to the feminists for doing it. This is what happens. One day men are going to just say, I've had enough and everything's going to change. But y'all know there, y'all could go out how you feel and you'll be okay. 
And just to like make a little point, hmm. I feel like sometimes when like earlier you had said you were like, but I don't want to cry, baby. Like you'll tolerate it, but it is going to eventually run you dry. I want to marry a cry baby. I but would, that, no, I would but baby, want to know there a cry baby. But listen to what I said, though. What Listen, to, but you're not going to know until you ask for this vulnerability. So what I'm saying, hold on, let me finish mm-hmm. what I'm saying. What I'm saying is most women that say they want that eventually they get tired of it and they are looking like if for the, like the scenario that he said earlier about the six months of you taking care of him if that man cried to you every single day for six months you would be so turned off so it's like we have to be honest about these things that it's just not something that is productive for just whoever whenever so you have to really know who you're dealing with and he has to know who he's dealing with you because you're probably gonna so leave I him. know if he's a actually this girl you know she makes me think of something is what she's saying think about it you know there's like a, a saying, you know, these, these women that, you know, they all, like, they want the bad boys. Well, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? Like, oh, she likes the bad boys. Well, if you think about it, right, what it usually means is the tough, super masculine or toxic masculinity type of guy. Because human nature Women don't want men that act like women, okay? I don't want to date destiny. I don't want to be with a man that doesn't know if he's a woman today, a man tomorrow, or what. Blue hair, pink hair. I mean, what are we doing? You expect women to make emotional decisions and do stupid things. That's being emotional. It's human nature for women to be up and down and all around and not know what's what, right? It's just... It's, it's, it's how women are built, right? Up and down. Do you want to date a man like that? Seriously, think about that. She makes a good point. All right. All right, baby, or not. But how are you going to know that? Because he's going to be like, just be his most authentic self with me. And when you're in the beginning, but, but, right? I, but anyone I'm going to date, I'm talking about me. It doesn't, you know, for me, when I'm dating, I want that person to be their most authentic self so I can fall in love with that, right? If they happen to be more emotional, then okay. You know. Who is she dating? I'm just curious. Okay. Because her presentation is a mess. Okay. Self love, self care. Like, come on, girls, you, you got to do better than this. This is this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. I mean, come on. Just it's just I, I don't know. That's how I view it. But you it. said you want a man to not lie to you about his emotions and come to you. And yeah. then you're like, but I don't want to cry, baby. Like, but, what but, do you? But it, there's, a, but there's a difference. Like, I'm talking about if I go into a relationship and stay mm-hmm. in a committed one, I don't want to cry, baby. But I'm going to know that before I commit to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, why mm-hmm. would I marry someone? So like, oh, okay, wait, 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 so I don't know. I don't your know. IG is crazy right now. Yours. Bill Short, man. Okay. All right. So, uh, what man okay. wouldn't want to commit to that? <laughs> <Who's> that? <gasps> Damn. So she's bad. I mean, hey, 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 listen, man. Some guys would. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Hey, what? Listen, Wait a minute. Hey, hey, Don't listen. go to my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Bill's got to scroll down more, and then well, you, you have me, a right bubble food queen. All right. And Ooh, then, and then so- you have- <laughs> I didn't even know who that was. Look in the middle, dead center. Are you seeing this? That's her. Uh, look, look down. You see this bottom left, bottom, bo- bottom left corner. That's her. That's the girl sitting on Fresh and Fit right now. What delusional land is this woman in? Who is this? I'm thinking this was like some like, Plus size model. Like, this is her. This is what this girl looks like. Hold on. Okay. Every man needs to be paying attention to this right now. Okay. This is why you can't be on women's Instagram. This is why you can't online date. Mm mm. No. Look at this. How is that this? How? I can't even believe this. Uh, what man okay. wouldn't want to commit to that nigga, <laughs> man? <gasps> Damn, so, she's bad. I mean, hey, 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 listen, man. Some guys, what Damn. Damn. these girls on that podcast are saying? Somebody said, "Damn, she's bad." Are they not in the same room? <laughs> this is how delusional we become in society. It's like sitting across from Bruce Jenner, telling him that he's able to give birth. I mean, what are we talking about? This is clearly not the same person. This is some kind of 
psyop version of who she would like to be. Are they nuts? Um, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Don't go a... to my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Bill's got to scroll down more, and then well, you, you, you have a uh... right now. I see why she got on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they thought was coming. Global food queen. Uh, all right. Oh, you're and then so you have gorgeous. A, a, an IG. And the issue? Right. What's the issue? Mm-hmm. The issue is... Yeah, but uh, tell me what the issue is. But that's... She is seriously asking them what the issue is. Like, this girl is delusional. You don't know that you don't look like that? That's what I'm saying. creatively expressing myself however I would like. So what's the issue? But that, that, but that, you don't know everything about me. So you're, you're just, kind of did you hear what she says? I'm creatively expressing myself however I would like. So this is what she'd like to look like. Okay, gentlemen, just understand this. This is what she wants to look like. So that's what she's putting out there. So, you know, don't expect to find her in the restaurant when you walk in to meet her. I mean, is she insane? She but who cares? Attendance. And I don't like. I'm just doing whatever I want with my life. And it, but the thing is, You're, but you don't have your husband cares. But what? You don't have OS? No, I, it's not that my husband cares. It's the people that I attract and already attracted in my life. I already found them. Yeah, yeah. But that's the truth. So, but so, so notice, right? He just saw your page. Uh -huh. What did he do? Assume about you? Yeah. 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 I don't care that he assumes. Like, okay, oh, like oh, no problem care? that you're. But it doesn't affect me. Like, I move on with my life and I continue with my journey. But that you know, like I don't like sit. Like, okay now he's making fun of me or he's saying this about me okay cool like good for you i move on with my life like uh, you know like i mean he's not making fun of you like but i can understand that. your perspective of man you see a woman posting with like that okay they're stuff. gonna like yeah. be like oh my right. gosh this so, or that because you're quick, a man yeah. but that's okay because you said earlier right that you want your partner to be their most authentic self mm -hmm. all the time that's a lie yes, human I beings do. in general are not going to ever be fully authentic i mean and i would argue that <laughs> this is too good to be true <laughs> <laughs> Myron is so calculated. I mean, how brilliant is this man? She's sitting here talking about, I want the most authentic man. Like, I want my man to be as, as authentic as he can be. <laughs> Myron. They're pulling up her Instagram. She's sitting here talking about authenticity. Has <laughs> she seen herself? I mean, last I checked, I don't know who that is on that Instagram. Even to the point where these women with these eye color changes, like, your eyes are not blue. The shape of your face, you don't look like that at all. Like, <laughs> Myron is something. They're even less authentic than men are a lot of the but times. But we're all on a journey. Yeah, but you, you want a guy, you want something that you're not even giving yourself, being your most authentic self. Like, are you going to be your most authentic self? No. I'm going to wear makeup. To be, like, women wear makeup. Your photos are heavily ch edited, okay. clearly. You know, no offense. But uh, the reality uh, is, human beings are never fully authentic. You're always going to have things that you're going to keep from your partner. It is yep. what it is. It's just a matter of who are you willing to most to compromise with the most with the little bit of authenticity that they give you. But, okay. So, it's just not a real thing. Like, you're kind of speaking in ideals, but the reality is you're not going to get that. And I would argue you're probably I've less authentic than your partner But that's not true. I've already gotten it. How? We, uh, like, Where's that uh, man uh, now that yeah. he was so authentic with you? Where's you know he? what? I, I can't speak about that online, but, but that's so the truth. So y'all are not together yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, not even, it's not even together. It's Ugh. like a life... But that like this. these are all your Are y'all together or not? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Here goes that feminist, you know... When it's convenient, you answer the questions. First of all, hold on a second here. Can you imagine what it's like to be her? I mean, you're going to extremes beyond to actually tell yourself that you could possibly look like that. I mean, first of all, talk about the laziness, okay? Now, that that the person in the picture, she's not some skinny rail, okay? She's a very voluptuous whatever she created, but why not go to the gym and try to like become that? Seriously, there's no reason why this girl can't be that voluptuous type of whatever AI thing she created of herself. I mean, you're not even close. It's unreal. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm it's, sorry. It's, I'm it's, sorry. I'm talking about that kind of stuff like online. You. It's a yes or no. I mean, are you guys together or not? I mean, you said it's you were scary. single earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> in spirit? In spirit. No, w- w- listen, at the end of the day, I, I like, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to share my relationship Have stuff online, single dreams? or not single. Like, uh, I, I, like I'm not going to share those you, details. Um, the have, point I'm trying to make, simply put, is that mm-hmm. you're not going to get this authenticity that you're talking about. It's just not real. It doesn't happen. And well, you're not even authentic with your girls. So, like, but I'm not, but I'm you not. Look like you look like Like, that's not authentic. Matter, but, look at these girls. These girls are just dying. <laughs> They're like, I mean, underneath it all, they're like, what was she thinking? Coming on Fresh and Fit of all places with that Instagram. Like, come on. You walked yourself into that trap, my friend. Uh, but I'm you don't look like your pictures. Like, that's not authentic. But I'm sorry. But you're like, but I'm sorry, but that's something different. Now you're being rude. But like, but this I'm is being honest with you. I don't care. Who's this? That is me. I'm being honest that's with you. Clearly AI. Like, like, obviously, doesn't look I'm, like I'm, her. T- I'm being 100% honest with you. Like, you're saying, I want my most authentic partner. You don't look but, like your photos. You're, so you're not even authentic. No, I'm oh sorry. God. You're not understanding the point, that though. That looks like her. I'm yeah, sorry. You're not, I'm sorry. You're not understanding the point. And for you to sit here and degrade. I'm not like, degrading no, you. I'm not. No, I'm, no, I don't care about your truth or no truth. Because now it you're is just objective being, truth. Okay, but you're being disrespectful now. I'm, but wait, see, hold on. You're being disrespectful. You're degrading. How? You put yourself here. You're sitting here talking all this high and mighty stuff that you want an authentic man and you want the real deal. But meanwhile, this is what you're putting forward and then you show up looking like this? I don't understand. It's like, just because she's a female, you're supposed to just not comment on it? Like, what do these girls think? You're an adult. Because we're not even talking about that topic. We are. I'm not we are. out here online. We're talking about authenticity. You're not understanding. I, I don't. But it's not. It's not even authentic. I'm literally just being myself. And you're not like I don't know. Oh my god. Social media is not even real. Did you not earlier say yeah. that you want to analyze your Instagram? Did you not earlier say uh, that I want there. my partner to be authentic? And yeah. I'm saying, well, you're not even authentic. But I. But you're not even under. But you're not. You're kind of just like taking what you're seeing and running with it. You put it out but there. But so, <laughs> but I'm living my life for me, not for you and your opinion. Uh, go, Queen. You literally said, I want an authentic partner. And okay, I'm saying, great, well. but I do. But, but you're not authentic. But you're not understanding. So you're, you're demanding you're something that you're not even are. authenticity, but you're defining my authenticity. You're like defining that for me and you're running you with that. Babe, what is authentic? authentic? This, this, you know, this is, this is like that, that whole, um, well, I identify as a female. So, um, you know, I'm female. No, if you're a male, you're a male. If you're a female, you're a female, okay? You're not just going to go join the women's track team because all of a sudden you identify as a woman today. I mean, this is how delusional we've become. This is absolutely the most ridiculous psycho babble that I've ever heard or seen. I can't even believe that she would walk on to the set of this particular podcast and not know that this is what the outcome was going to be. I mean, I'm shocked she's not crying yet. I give her, I give her that. I'll, I'll give her that. I mean, like, Jews, the internet but you're, you're allowed to do you know and post no, whatever you want does. because it's hold not on, autistic. Hold on, hold on. You don't look like doesn't. your photos. Okay, That's an objective but, fact. No, yeah, it's not. So that lacks authenticity. Yeah, do I look like my photos? Oh, we're not, that's not what we're looking at. But I'm saying, like, you objectively do not look like your photos. I literally thought that was someone else on the thing. No, no. So I'm just saying, if you're going to sit there and say, all right, man, that's gonna, Amanda's going to be authentic and tell me what it is and be emotionally intelligent. I'm sorry, you're like, kind of taking you're not even being authentic. You're not talking about that. You're not even being authentic. But you're not, we're not talking about on that ass, like, at all. We're talking about emotions. We're not talking about a physical look. So you can pick and choose what authenticity you're going to give Yeah, like, it's crazy, bro. Exactly. No, that's what you just said. No. I'm not saying that. You're kind of just twisting what I'm saying and kind of running with whatever you want. Okay, go ahead. How? How are they twisting anything she's saying? She just, you know what she's like? She's like one of these, one of these women that put no effort into herself, right? She, she, she barely does. I mean, obviously she doesn't work out. She's clearly not, you know, concerned about what she puts in her body, right? But then she wants a man with an eight pack. You understand? She wants like Brad Pitt with an eight pack, like whoever. You understand what I mean? How, what, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. These women are actually mentally ill. You have to be mentally ill to create an AI version of yourself, put it online, show it to the world, and then tell people that that's actually what you look like when you're sitting right in front of them. But So what is it then? Well, I don't understand your question. All right, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, question. Stupid. We're gonna move on. Ew. But yeah, yeah. Listen. What an ugly tag. 
What? It's so rude to call someone stupid. It's not nice. Stupid. I every that. podcast. Oh, <laughs> I don't. That thing. Look, Chris, relax, man. All I'm saying is, I just find it interesting mm -hmm. that you're saying, I want my partner to be authentic with me, be emotional with me, blah, 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 right? But you yourself- I heard you already in multiple times. Not, I'm not stupid, right? So I've heard you repeat that multiple times. Well, I've had to repeat questions to you multiple times because okay, you don't so, get it. Okay, so, because maybe I can't things. hear you correctly because these headphones aren't like so good on my ears. Or like, but that's because the truth. We but All right, now she's, now she's starting to feel really, really ignorant. She's starting to feel really stupid, really dumb. Um, you could tell. Look how she's acting. Okay. Or like, but that's because the truth. we personally tune those headphones. Okay. I know they're loud and clear. Okay, but maybe you don't know about. Like, I, I don't know. But now I've heard you multiple times, and you can stop. Stop with what? Yeah, stop, man. So Calling cool. out your contradiction. I mean, like, no, you're just I'm saying. not. We're not talking about that. though. we're talking about men's emotions. These three over here. Like, I mean, the way they were laughing before. Even they. And normally, women will stick with women, right? It's like even they were dying. Like, how do you? How do you? How do you, the gap is wide, sweetheart, in more ways than one. You know what I'm saying? The gap can't be that wide. I mean, I, 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 yeah, of course, she doesn't want to say, you know, what the status of her relationship is because she met the guy through this Instagram or whatever it is. And when he saw her, he left. There was no relationship. I mean, you can't do that. That's like a, a, a transsexual that really looks like a woman, that's really a man, trying to date a man, and then you get in bed and something's not right. You, I mean, this is like, people should be put in jail for this. This should be a crime, what she's doing. And being authentic with that, we're not talking about looks. And I'm saying, taking it a, a different you're way. not authentic. But you demand you, authenticity from him, but you're not authentic. That's what I'm trying to say. Not, it's a completely different but topic, and we can move on. Martin, we Martin. can move on. I don't want to talk about it. telling you how men are going to perceive you. He's just saying, hey. I don't care how men perceive me. I am who I am, and I'm okay. But you said you want a husband, so you do but care how I men perceive you. I don't know, you. actually, if I want a husband either. I'm That's like, crazy. okay with Now she doesn't want a husband. See how quick it moves? <laughs> So you, but you said you want kids. I never said that either. So, okay. So then do you, I, Like, I don't, I'm do literally you. doing me. And if Get that happens, that's just like yeah. God's will. But like, I'm not thinking about oh. any of them. That's the truth. That's just okay. who I am as a, like a, a, a person. Like if I have kids, okay. If I adopt even more amazing, there's children in this world that need a, like a mother. And maybe I don't that's find, true. but that's also true. like yeah. I can, I never know in life. I can maybe convert to be an, uh, like, like a nun or maybe someone who doesn't even want to get married. A nun? A nun? <laughs> she wants to be a nun now. Okay, first of all, please, everyone pray that she never adopts any child, okay? Because that child has zero chance in life, all right? And with the way these leftists and 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 and, and extreme feminist women, how they're running, like the adoption. <laughs> Can you imagine? This is absolutely nuts. This girl is mentally ill. She has body dysmorphia, clearly. No, she needs a psychiatrist. For real. She, no, she needs a psychiatrist. This is scary. A nun? Anything can a happen nun? in life. A nun? A nun? Yeah. yeah. She wants to be a nun. Is this what she's going to wear in the convent? <laughs> I mean, this is a crazy. Nun? It doesn't matter. Any, yeah. It does matter. You're getting married to me. Well, that wait, shit matters, wait, wait. bro. No, wait, now you capping. Now you capping. Now you capping. Now, you capping. <laughs> now, listen, we just got to be a bitch. You know, Marcy? Like, you know, Marcy? <laughs> a nun is crazy. What's Marcy doing on there, change? man? Oh, Marcy, boss? Mommy, oh. mommy, Marcy? What's going on there, bro? Oh, Marcy, man. If you boss. say so. Oh, God. Yo. You guys are really, like, out of control. Like, I, like, no, I we don't just talked about nobody can trigger you unless you get triggered. This is a podcast. We're just talking shit. Okay, but, like, now you're kind of deep. Like, I don't like it. All right, listen, man. I'll change topics. No, you only don't like it because we should change the topic. Because Do you not, like seafood? No, it um, depends. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it's, sure, no, why? No, it's, oh, I like up. seafood. It's set okay. up. It's set up. Yeah. It's a setup. He's changing no, the... No, no, I'm just changing the topic. Yeah, we no. should yeah. change the topic. No. Like, uh, like you guys are... Do you, like, do you like the beach? No, it's set yeah. up. Do you like the oh, beach? Like <laughs> no, no, it's set up, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. so typical. Like, change the topic because you're uncomfortable. I mean, this is it's such a typical move. I mean... We sat here and started this. She was talking about wanting a man that, you know, was open and honest and showed his emotions. She went on and on and on about this. Some, a man that's authentic, authentic with his emotions. So she knows what she's getting because she wants to be married and, and all of this stuff. I didn't hear her say she wants children. Maybe clearly she may have said it earlier. Okay. And now all of a sudden we've gone to, from that to being a nun. <laughs> I mean, what is going on here? Like at the beach? 
I could be my still, It must I, be the Miami water, okay? Self <laughs> very authentic. Hold on, hold on. I can be my true my true I feel like at the same time. What the you know, uh, one in the water? Oh, she <laughs> left. Oh no, there she is. Oh, what? <laughs> Fresh. What? Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 crazy, bro. Oh, What's going on, bro? Oh, my yo, my God. God. No, yo. Mario won't tell him, man. Uh, no, I mean. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nothing. No. Look, man. Um, we can move on, but like I said before, it's just uh, it's just interesting how she gets called out and instantly it's like, oh, what the fuck? Oh. No, that's okay. You know, you're entitled to your opinion, but it's not going to affect me. You can be in a, like a jerk. I'm sorry. That's what I feel you're being. I'm entitled I'm to say that, but that's okay. You this just is don't your make show. Sense. That's okay if I don't make sense, though. We can agree to disagree and still be like like friends if you would like. I respect your opinion. I literally almost didn't come on here because I'm going to be honest. People didn't say nice things, right? But I'm here today, like challenging myself, doing something different. Different. and like you don't have to be like so like mean and like I was told that like people needed to come here because people don't want to come because they're scared like so I don't think that you should continue to treat people this way because it's it's just not nice and we can be a little bit more mindful and nice but that's okay you can run your show however you would like but Mean. It's just but about it is, being though. honest. It's but about that's it, fine for you to be like, honest, but there's just like I don't like you can stop and like okay you, first of all you can't she, actually I'm shocked because I don't think Myron was really mean to her at all. He could have been really mean. You know what I mean? He could have really went in on her. All right. But he actually kept it pretty level, if in my opinion. I mean, he's telling the truth. Look, these hypersensitive, super socio-emotional women, it's like they only want to hear what they want to hear. And, and, if, it, and if it goes any other way or you're truthful or you don't agree with them, this is what happens. This is what happens move on like you don't have to continue i can say mean things about you but i'm holding my tongue in because sure go ahead say whatever you, say. Yeah. you know what this is the brilliance of joe Biden. okay you, you get where i'm going with this joe like tells everyone exactly what they want to hear you know on the left or whatever to get you know what for whatever well, i mean when he can speak that is of course but he in throughout his whole career he is known for telling people what they want to hear and then doing the exact opposite. He'll do the antithesis of it. <laughs> oh, I'm for blacks, but I'll do the 1994 crime bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, this is the problem with women. I, I, do oh, that. I mean, I, but that doesn't I mean, make sense I, to do I, as a person. I mean, it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. truth. I'm not a bully. Yeah, yeah. Women, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She got something to say. She hasn't really spoke. She hasn't really spoke. It makes sense uh -huh. to say the truth. If not, how are we supposed to grow as individuals? Okay. Criticism is necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, I think that That's if someone isn't able to okay. come on the show and take hard criticism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're not willing to grow okay, as a person but I said, okay mm -hmm. and moved on like i don't really well care said. to keep talking about it and you guys keep continuing now you're just like don't because know when to you stop keep talking that's why okay so i'll shut up I mean, so move on to the next topic under the it's, sea it's so easy bro under the sea no, I just, it's, it's but just, that's true yeah. but that, like yes, like What's this true? Poor girl. No, like it, it, it. You guys like the uh, the fire like too the because it makes your show Sorry. better. Like, who's gonna watch a boring show? We're not, we're all a lot boring. of people are actually I mean, yeah, watching right now. Boring. I mean, yeah, it's not said that you can be a this is far from boring, and I'm thanking her for it. But I will tell you, I think that she left this podcast and ran straight to her therapist <laughs> and stayed for like five hours. <laughs> None. Like, I mean, yeah, that's kind of hilarious. That's, but like, you know, that's, that's kind of hilarious. Okay, that's fine. You yeah, can think it's hilarious. <laughs> like, I don't like, I don't say that. Like, okay. you should, like, you got your out on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Like, be a nun. But that's, but I'm sorry, yeah, but like, mom. Jesus wasn't like, uh, uh, like, Jesus. a uh, oh, person either. Oh, that's the truth. Don't make God into this. Oh, God. That's don't make God into this. That you just said that. That you just. I don't even care. So wild that you just said that. Okay. Yeah, sure. was the pure of beings if we talk about like yeah. we, I don't even want to bring right. it there but the point is that I'll read the chats that's yeah. stupid yeah, oh, yeah, she yeah, is yeah, comedy. Chats, okay uh, uh, alright if she is if she is not cute put her on mute because women are kind of like rocks we skip the flat ones and leave the big ones what okay. the fuck uh, <laughs> what? that uh Date, what? What does that say? Date your boy? Harami's welcome oh, to leaving. FNF where she's you will leaving. get roasted. The tech boy. She's leaving? No, I just stopped. Oh. Yeah. Bathroom? Damn, man. Y'all heard her feelings, man. You're no, supposed man, to lift your hand.
Um, now I have to say, A plus for Fresh and Fit. That was extremely entertaining. I mean, where do they find these girls? <laughs> They've got to have like the absolute best scouts on earth <laughs> because I have never seen anything like that. The fact that she would show up there knowing what that podcast is, showing that Instagram and then showing there, showing up there looking like that, <laughs> mentally ill. That woman needs help, okay? That woman needs help. Men, stay off every app. If you're looking to date somebody, if you want to scroll through apps, fine, go ahead. But you know what? Do not date anybody from Instagram, from OnlyFans, from Facebook, from whatever. Stay away from apps because you will get catfished. All right. I'm DeBrava. I hope you got a kick out of this episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Go fresh and fit. See you next time.